This is the entrance to Tuberius, a, a holy well just out the edge of Care, County Tipperary. It's on the Tipperary Road side of Care, just at the foot of the Galtee Mountains. It's marked here by a stone that's pretty, pretty old, very, very old. I don't know, I'm not an expert on these things, but this stone carving denotes uh, the entrance to the well. We'll go inside and have a look at the well now. This is the well proper and as we pan around you can see the rag tree which is an old pagan custom of tying coloured rags to the trees that denotes favours received after your praying. This is the altar that was used and this dates back to pre-Christian times. This lump of rock is topped off by a carving on a rock that turns out it's a Cathar cross. Kind of totally out of place here. No one seems to know what the Cathars were doing here or indeed did this cross, was it brought here by the Cathars or did someone else bring it from someplace else? It's a very peaceful spot, as you can look around. It's Unfortunately, it has been vandalised over the years, and it's not at its best or as it used to be, hence this film. There's a lot of beer cans thrown around and so on, and from people that don't show respect to the place. Fortunately there's a tree after toppling over in the wind. The crows here, I don't know if you can hear them, are permanent visitors. They're always here, their nests are in the trees above us. It's a beautiful spot, a beautiful peaceful spot. And people have come here and part of the heritage if you, if you like of this place. When the British army were in town and they were going off to the First World War lots of them came up here to pray and they would take a stone as is the ritual. You take one stone and you pray and you walk around the well and you end up taking three stones and if you do survive anything like the war I think you bring the stones back with you but Stones from this well would be all over the world, being brought by soldiers and other people that have went to Australia, New Zealand and America and so on and so forth. There's our friends the crows again. we we'll got some different shots of the well proper. And I'll give you an idea of the size of the well. As I say, it's pre-Christian times, that's rag tree over there. There used to be an awful lot. The tree was, indeed was, was bigger than what we see there now and there was a lot more rags on it and it always seems to be a holly tree. It's a place that's visited by a lot of people still from the, the town and they hold it with a great deal of reverence, especially the, the old the old folk and the natives of the town are very proud of this place. There are two separate compartments in the, in the well. People used to take water from the well for their home use before the pipe water came to town. Now I don't think the water in it is safe to drink from the houses on the mountain. The seepage down has polluted the water. There's a lot of algae 
going on it but it, it looks lovely and clear but um, I wouldn't advise drinking it now you, you could take it for different reasons to wash yourself or something and it was from this pool here that the soldiers would, would take the stones the pebbles and bring them with them to wherever they went as a kind of safeguard against uh, harm the rag tree the holly rag tree is right beside the well and there's a close up of it and the top circle of the well the well itself is shaped like a keyhole with two compartments it's very very old some people even say the seventh or eighth centuries that people are coming and using this the masses the priests were said here the secret masses if you like were said on this spot as well very little is known because it's so old and it's called Tuberisa which is the baby Jesus well that's what it means and all of us here in care are very very proud and we, we feel a great attachment to this this spot but unfortunately some people don't they use it for drinking and drugs and so on and so forth there's been evidence of that found here which is a total shame the well itself is in a very very peaceful spot it's in a small little area and as I say it's on the Tipperary side of care and it's a beautiful beautiful peace, peaceful spot well worth a visit whether you are religious or not I can't get in to properly film this but I'll read the first paragraph this well probably dates from pre-Christian times the pagan custom of tying multicolored rags to the holly tree adjoining the well having been retained. Up to the end of the last century the well's pattern day was observed on Christmas Eve. However rounds of the well can be made throughout the year by anyone regardless of creed and as an act of religious devotion to pray for a particular in intention or to benefit from the reputed healing powers of the holy water. After coming in the the entrance gate there's a short walk down to the well on a day like today in the summer time this is about the 6th of June the weather being nice and warm and the place looking beautiful all greened up every kind of imaginable white wildflower are here there's honeysuckle there on the way down it's beautiful and we approach this opening then to the well sorry about the hopping but I have this on my shoulder now and that's the little walk down to the well and as a lad I remembered hundreds of people here at mass but it hasn't been said now for a long time and The reason for making this film, if you like, is to remember how things were. And hopefully that this, this well will retain its character and there'll be no more vandalism or damage to it.